Welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History. Where am I taking you back to today? Well, I'm taking you back to the reign of King Henry VIII. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 2nd of March, 1545, scholar, diplomat, and founder of the Bodleian Library, Sir Thomas Bodley, was born in Exeter in Devon. Thomas was the son of John Bodley, a Protestant merchant who took his family into exile to Germany during Queen Mary I's reign, and his wife, Jean Hone. The family returned to England in Queen Elizabeth I's reign, and Bodley was able to study at Magdalen College, Oxford, where he graduated with a BA in 1563 and a Master's in 1566. He then lectured at Merton College and was elected junior proctor. He left Oxford in 1576 and began a diplomatic career for Elizabeth I's government under the patronage of Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester and Sir Francis Walsingham. He also served as a Member of Parliament for Portsmouth in 1583. Thomas began serving Elizabeth I as a gentleman usher, and in 1585 he carried out his first major diplomatic mission in Denmark and Brunswick. In 1588 he carried out a further diplomatic mission to Henry III in France, followed by another to Denmark and the merchants at Hamburg. His most important diplomatic mission, however, was when he was appointed as the Queen's Ambassador to the United Provinces, i.e. the Netherlands, where he was resident ambassador at The Hague from late 1588 to early 1597. Thomas returned to England in 1597 in ill health and disillusioned by his time as ambassador. It was at that point that he retired from public service and began the project for which he is known today, the foundation of the Bodleian Library. In 1598, Thomas Bodley restored, refurbished and refounded the Oxford University Library, and it was reopened on the 8th of November 1602 as Bodley's Library, or the Bodleian Library. This library had been begun in around 1320, but was rescued by Bodley, who'd married a rich widow, Anne Carey, widow of Nicholas Ball, a wealthy fish merchant who'd made his fortune in trading pilchards. Bodley wrote that in his retirement, he wanted to set up my staff at the library door in Oxen, being thoroughly persuaded that in my solitude and surcease from the Commonwealth affairs, I could not busy myself to better purpose than by reducing that place, which then in every part lay ruined and waste, to the public use of students. By the time the library opened in 1602, it had over 2,500 books and soon became world famous. In 1604, Bodley was knighted by King James I, who was a patron of the library. And in 1610, Bodley came to an agreement with the Stationers' Company London that every book published in England and registered with the Stationers would have a copy deposited at the Bodleian. Sir Thomas Bodley died at his home next to St Bartholomew's Hospital in London on the 29th of January 1613, shortly after work started on an extension to the library. He was buried in Merton College Chapel on the 29th of March 1613, and he left most of his fortune to Oxford University as he had no children. The Bodleian Library had further work carried out in the 17th, 18th and 19th centuries, and it's a wonderful place and an important Oxford landmark. And I'll give you a link to a video giving you a virtual tour of it. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 2nd of March, 1522, there was a Shrovetide joust with the theme of unrequited love at the court of King Henry VIII. And you can find out more about this joust and whether it had anything to do with Mary Boleyn in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe in the same way that I normally say by clicking that button there. Please do subscribe, it really does help. You can also give me a like and leave a comment and hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. I'll be back tomorrow, bye bye. <laughs>